She makes a lot of trouble. Thanks to Marley's boundless energy, training is a disaster. We have not a dog. We have a beast. It's driving us crazy. It's like every single day you come home and things are damaged, things are broken. Unable to take the stress any longer. I don't even know if somebody can do something for that dog. Hortense is fast running out of options. Marley! Things need to change, otherwise we wouldn't have the choice but to give her away. This is really like the last chance for Marley. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi, Martin's coming. He jumps a lot. He jumps yeah. a lot. Oh, down, she down, down. Jump a lot. She does jump a lot. Goodness me. Hello. This training is going to benefit Marley in so many different ways. It's going to enable her to listen, cuts down the frustration, and gives her the chance to run, get all that energy out. It's a nice activity. It's fun for us, to be honest. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not only for the dog. I like it. While Marley and her family face a long road ahead, Victoria has one other simple technique which could be a game changer. This has so many wonderful applications and it's called social learning. Mm -hmm. You can teach your dog to turn on and off a light, to open a cupboard. Maybe you don't want to teach Marley to do that. <laughs> to do all kinds of things just by doing it yourself. Building on cues Marley already knows. Marley! Like sit. It's a game that uses both her excess physical and mental energy. I'm going to basically teach her that when I sit, she sits. Here we go. Copy me. Sit. Yes. Molly. Copy me. Sit. Yes. Eventually, there's no need to even say the word sit. Marley. Copy me. Yes. Take it away. And it's training the entire family can take part in. Marley, copy me. Yes. Beautiful. I love it when a plan comes together. I like it when we find the language of Marley. Yeah. Copy me. Yes. This is constructive play and it's fun. Practice with things she knows and then start introducing things she doesn't. Over the next three weeks, the family work hard with Marley. But despite some progress, Hortense is struggling and has come to a difficult decision. We think that she needs more time, attention, and we're not sure that we can give her that. It's a dog who needs to run every day, yes. to be honest. I think she'd be better with somebody else. I think it's a courageous decision, and I know it's upsetting you a bit, yeah, but, but you try. You've given her so much love. We're gonna keep trying and until we find the perfect match for Marley, that Marley loved the person, the person loved Marley and got the time, got the right place for Marley, we will keep Marley and, and do the training, but it's not easy for us at all. She's a cracking dog with the right home and the outlets for all of that amazing energy. Marley will find her place. As hard as it is for Hortense and the family, I do feel that she's right. Marley will be better in a different home, a home that can give her the attention she needs. She is an amazing dog. And so the future is going to be bright for her with the right family. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.